crazy chef you know the vibe today we're making a quinoa shrimp and lobster stir fry what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook our quinoa usually quinoa you want to put it in cold water bring it to a boil and just boil it for 10 to 15 minutes today we're gonna boil it for 12 minutes just because we're gonna do some more cooking so if you were gonna add it to like a salad or stuff you'd want to go 15 minutes cool it down and then you do the thing today we're going for 12 minutes it should look something like this and then we're gonna cool it down set it aside and we'll get ready for or stir fry let's get into the video Quinoa let's get into the stir vibe. fry so in my pan I put a little bit of sesame oil yeah so in my pan I put some sesame oil then I put some uh, beaten egg most people most people cook their eggs separately, but I don't like to cook my eggs separately. I like to, once my eggs start coming together, I put my vegetables in. I'm going to put some onions in there. So we're making a quinoa stir fry. And I can put my flame up a little bit. So quinoa stir fry, I put some onions, some peppers and see what happened here is uh so while my egg is cooking it's taking the flavor of my peppers and my onions and it also scrambles my eggs so onions peppers right i want to put some carrots in there just for color some celery and some ginger so we put that in right and we just slowly you know cook all those just like that and i didn't chop my gingers all the way i had just like rough chop them which is good so we do that right and we let that cook for like five minutes if i'm gonna add some shrimp in there just for a vibe right everything's about that vibe so we add some shrimp in there look how good that looks you can if you smell this right now it smells so good so we add some shrimp in there i'm gonna add some lobster right in there and if you're a vegetarian you can skip the egg you can skip the seafood you know you just follow the same process and just add the quinoa so we add some shrimp and you might might wonder why we don't add seasoning you know because uh you know this is a stir fry we're gonna add soya sauce you know we added sesame oil you have all the spices from the from the seasonings and stuff so you don't need any other seasoning if you want to put it it's fine but you don't need it so you're gonna add your bak choy and you just keep stirring and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit more sesame oil usually I'd give it a quick flip but just for you know purposes we won't flip it you know I don't want people on the internet to say you know I'm like showing off or anything so we won't flip it so you add your bok choy and look how good that looks right look how delicious that looks and then now once you add the bok choy in there you just add your quinoa right in there yeah I know what you're saying but 
you're actually right that does look pretty good so you add add your quinoa so add your quinoa right in there yeah I know that it smells good too it doesn't just look good it actually smells pretty good so once you added the quinoa right we're gonna add plain soy sauce and that's what's gonna give you that vibe and as I said we didn't add seasoning because soy sauce is pretty salty so just because the soy sauce is so salty we won't add a lot right and look at that that looks delicious and that's your shrimp and lobster quinoa stir fry pretty easy delicious and healthy and as I said if you're vegetarian you don't have to put egg lobster or seafood in there I mean if you like seafood this is the perfect dish for you if you want to have a nice dish and still stay healthy this is this is just delicious yeah if you like seafood this is delicious crazy chef big vibe as I said we're trying to reach a broader audience on this YouTube platform so hit that like button if it's your first time here don't hesitate just hit that red subscribe button because you know with a dish like this you know we bring the vibe it's obvious so big big vibe key vibe lobster shrimp quinoa stir fry hit that like button if it's your first time here hit that red subscribe button we're trying to reach a, a broader audience and we need your help crazy chef